procession is due to start momentarily. In order that the procession may go according to plan, we're asking that all the aisles be cleared as soon as possible. Would everyone please return to their seats? In addition, we ask that all electronic de devices be turned to the off position as a courtesy to all in attendance at this commencement ceremony. Thank you very much for your cooperation. The trustees and the faculty of Fairfield University are happy to welcome you, the mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, husbands and wives, relatives and friends of the candidates for degrees in course of the class of 2022. The academic procession is now entering the Bellarmine Terrace commencement area, led by the Grand Marshal, Dr. Paul Baginski, Associate Professor of Mathematics in the College of Arts and Sciences, and this year's Alpha Sigma Nu Teacher of the Year. Professor Baginski carries the mace of the university. The academic procession is punctuated throughout by gonfalons representing each school of the university. The gonfalon colors represent the colors of the hoods for the various disciplines offered at Fairfield University. The College of Arts and Sciences gonfalon of white represents the humanities, the social sciences, and the performing arts. The gold and white gonfalon of the College of Arts and Sciences represents the sciences and mathematics. Social work is designated by Citron Hoods and public health as Salmon Pink Hoods. The Dolan School of Business Gondolon is be beige and white, the beige representing business. The School of Engineering Gondolon is orange and white, the orange reflects the color of the discipline of engineering. The School of Education and Human Development Gondolon is blue and white. Blue represents the disciplines of education and counseling. 
The students approaching in the graduation procession on the right are students from the College of Arts and Sciences, and on the left, the students from the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. College are the students from the Marion Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Following the students from the Dolan School of Business are the students from the School of Engineering.
Leaving the students from the Dolan School of Business are the students from the School of Engineering.
the students from the School of Engineering are representing, the alumni are members of Fairfield University's 22nd graduating class, the class of 1972. Their presence with us today continues a tradition that began in 2001 at Fairfield's 51st commencement of including members of the 50th anniversary in our commencement exercises. Joining their colleagues who are serving as marshals for the academic procession are the members of the faculty of Fairfield University and representatives from the Domena Nicilius Library and Student Affairs. They are preceded by the University Gonfalon in the color of red with the seal of the university centered on the banner. The faculty and, and administrative staff are represented in the procession and the various colors of their robes and hoods signify their areas of academic discipline and the universities from which they receive their graduate degrees. Concluding the academic procession are the members of the platform party, the superior of the Fairfield Jesuit community, the university director of campus ministry, the alumni chaplain and special assistant to the president, the dean of students, the deans of the five schools of the university, the Dean of the Domena Nicilius Library, the Vice Provosts, the Vice Presidents of the University, the Secretary of the General Faculty, the Faculty Recipient of the Robert E. Wall Research Award, 
the faculty recipient of the Alpha Sigma Nu Teacher of the Year Award, the president of the Alumni Association, the trustees of the university, the honorary degree recipients and their escorts, and at the end of the procession, Frank Carroll III, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, and Most Reverend Frank Caggiano, Bishop of the Diocese of Bridgeport, and Dr. Mark R. Nemec, President of Fairfield University. President Nemec, Bishop Caggiano, members of the Board of Trustees, deans, members of the faculty, administrators, president of the Alumni Association, alumni from the 50th anniversary class, <laughs> members of the graduating class, <laughs> honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, here on the lawn and viewers in alternative viewing locations. As Vice Provost for the University, I would like to welcome you to the 72nd Commencement Exercises of Fairfield University. Please rise for the invocation, which will be offered by the Most Reverend Frank J. Caggiano, Bishop, Diocese of Bridgeport, and remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem by the members of the University Glee Club under the direction of Dr. Carol Ann Maxwell, conductor, accompanied by Beth Palmer and the Brass Salad Quintet. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
And before I offer the prayer, may I give to all of you who are graduating my heartfelt congratulations, best wishes, and a promise of prayers as you begin the next chapter in the adventure of your life. So let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, whose love accompanies every moment of our lives, we give you thanks on this day of great joy and seek your blessing upon our graduates assembled here for commencement. They stand before you as young women and men who have embraced the Catholic mission of Fairfield University and remain eager to be your ambassadors of hope in our complex world. Their resilience and creativity have helped them to navigate times of triumph and success as well as challenge and sorrow with great perseverance. They've opened their minds to the truth of our world. They've developed their gifts and talents under the care of their professors, and they've embraced the values that serve as the foundation of this great Jesuit university. Now they come for your blessing. Father, in the years ahead, make them agents of transformation and renewal Help them to share the merciful love of Jesus with their neighbors in need. By their honesty and love, may they bring hope to our world. We pray that your Holy Spirit inspire, encourage, and protect them, whether they continue their graduate work or assume their role in the marketplace. May they be the voice for the voiceless, hope, for those who are lost, and a force for unity and peace in our divided world. And finally, Heavenly Father, as we celebrate this joyful day, I ask that you bless their families, strengthen those who lead and teach in this university, and help the students who continue their formation here at Fairfield to grow in wisdom and grace. We ask this as we ask all things, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Please be seated. The undergraduate student entitled to deliver the commencement address is chosen from among those members of the senior class outstanding for their academic achievement. This year, that honor belongs to Amka Batburin of the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. Amka. President Nemec, 
members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, members of the faculty and administration, family, friends, and my fellow members of the class of 2022. It is truly an honor to speak to you today on this special occasion. We, the class of 2022, have come so far since our first day, experienced many ups and downs together, have emerged as adults ready to tackle more and greater challenges from this day forward. But before we start this journey, I would like to take a moment to recall our fondest memories during the journey itself. For my fellow graduates, I want to ask, do you recall your first day on Fairfield University's campus? The excitement of starting our college journey, the nervousness that clouded our minds from saying the first hello to our soon to be a lifelong friends, our passion that anyone could see from even a momentary glimpse of us. We have come so far since that unforgettable day. In fact, I clearly remember the first day I came to Fairfield. For the people who do not know me, I'm from a different country, a very beautiful country, Mongolia. And it was my first time here in the States, so everything was new to me. The language, the culture, and of course, the pizza. <laughs> but um, I'm sure that for all of us, when we first came to Fairfield, we had this feeling of new, coming from different countries, different cities, and even if you're from Fairfield, we might have felt that very far from what you knew in your hometown. Little did we know that at that time, the Fairfield would become our new home. Pliny the Elder said that home is where our heart stands. And for us, Fairfield is now where our heart belongs, where we spend years surrounded by our peers who become our like brothers and sisters, and the faculty and staff who become like our guardians who encourage us to explore more and grow into the best versions of our future selves. We have truly become one big family. When I say we become like one big family, some of you may have thought, oh wow, that's a big family, as there are more than 4,000 kids. As the parents who came for this occasion will probably agree, taking care of four kids is a lot of work, let alone 4,000 kids. And I actually can prove we, the college students, are still kids in at least one important way. Kids are always curious about new things. What is this? What is that? And the ubiquitous why? And the parents always have to tell them that, oh, that's an ice cream, and no, you cannot have it for dinner. For us, it's still the same, but a little bit more sophisticated. Oh, who's Socrates, or what's a tax return? In other words, we still have that educational curiosity and wonder for discovering the world around us that the children have. Another characteristic that seals the deal is that just as kids like having fun, we, the college students, also like having fun, believe me. I would like to invite my classmates to embrace both of these experiences and the intellectual curiosity and the fun times we shared at Fairfield University. Cherish them both as they are the yin and yang of life. Of course, kids, when learning how to walk, will stumble and fall. We, too, will stumble and fall. But would a kid stop standing up and trying again? No, they stand up and try it again and again until they get it right. It is with great sadness that we recently lost our fellow undergraduate student, Charlie Capolbo, who was my residence during our sophomore year when I was RA. He was really kind and bright, and he fought cancer courageously over the last five years. I know it is very hard time for us, especially for Charlie's family. Our prayers and thoughts will be with their family. <laughs> COVID-19 was also one of the toughest challenges that we had to share. Just like many of you, for me, COVID-19 was both emotionally and physically exhausting. Although I was separated from my family without any chance of going back because the borders were closed, Fairfield University stepped up as my second home and second family. The school provided housing and food during this hard time for the students who could not go home, just like me. This truly kind action made me believe that Fairfield University cared as for me as a whole person, not just as a student. 
take a moment now to think back to the time when you felt like you belonged here because members of the campus community reached out and cared for you. Maybe it was Liz's shining smile greeting you in the tolly. Or maybe it's your RA. <laughs> Let's go, Liz. Maybe it was your RA inviting you to a program or just to talk. Or maybe it was getting invited to take the picture with Lucas the Stack. Whatever it is, Fairfield has welcomed all of us in big and small ways and made this new place one where we could fall and know we could be supported. Not only the university administration and staff cared for us, but we were also fortunate enough to have such caring and incredible faculty members. They were always there for me, whether I had a homework question or a life question. Our faculty were caring and contributed to our growth, only, not only educationally and professionally, but also personally. However, just like our parents are human and make mistakes, so do we. We are not perfect, but it is important for us to accept our mistakes and grow from them. I hope that we, the graduates, will continue to do what's right and raise our voices for the matters we care about. As a student at Jesuit University, we are taught to strive to be the advocates of justice, fairness, and integrity. More importantly, we should continue to be the people for others. I'm confident that the class of 2022 and the rest of my Fairfield family will do what's right and help those in need of help. Last but not least, I want to take a moment to applaud our class of 2022. All of us gathered here today are proud of the women's basketball and lacrosse team who won the MAC championship. and the men's baseball team that had one of the best seasons in NCAA history. We're also proud of the first generation colleges who have succeeded for themselves and for their families. We're also proud of those who made it into the Dean's List or those of us who just wake up every morning, get out of the bed every morning, knowing that every new day is another opportunity to make our dreams a reality. Most importantly, we could not have done this without support of our beloved friends and family and mentors who came here today to support us. Let's take a moment now to acknowledge your hard work in aiding us in this grueling, sometimes dramatic, but always rewarding process that called college experience. We can never thank you enough. As we transition from our beloved university adventure with curiosity and excitement to the next, more adult chapter of our lives, I wanted to invite my class of 2022 to embrace that inner child voice, always listen to their hearts, pursue their dreams, and embrace love and spread love to everyone they meet. And I firmly believe that the class of 2022 can and will help to change the world for better from this day forward. Once a stack, always a stack. Go Stacks. Thank you, Amka. The president and faculty of Fairfield University have the honor to cite the following members of the graduating class who have won special recognition by their academic achievement. The Bellarmine Medal, established to commemorate the patron of Fairfield University, St. Robert Bellarmine of the Society of Jesus, Cardinal and Doctor of the Roman Catholic Church, is awarded to the undergraduates who, throughout the entire four years of full-time study, earned the highest academic average. This year, it is my honor on behalf of the faculty to acknowledge six graduating seniors, each of whom has earned a perfect 4.0 at the undergraduate level. As I call each recipient's name, Please come forward to receive your medal from President Nemec. The 2022 Bellarmine Medals are awarded to Lily B. Fenton, the Charles F. Dolan School of Business.
Haley M. Gardner, the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. Emma N. Lucier, the College of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> Victoria K. McLean, the College of Arts and Sciences. Brooke E. Perna, the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, Gabriel F. Rodriguez, the College of Arts and Sciences. The Alumni Association of Fairfield University selects an undergraduate student each year who has made a distinguished contribution of service and has loyally represented his or her school during four years of attendance. This award is known as the Loyola Medal. The 2022 Loyola, Loyola Medal is conferred upon Wachuku Ibekwe, the School of Engineering. To further honor Wachuku, the Fairfield University Alumni Association is donating $1,000 to the School of Engineering SAAE Baja Racing Club. The president will now officially confer the honorary degrees on the recipients. The first citation for Nicole Hockley will be read by Dr. Yeti Park, Assistant Professor of Social Work in the School of Education and Human Development. The President and Trustees of Fairfield University, to all who shall view these presents, greetings and peace in the Lord. The United States saw at least 202 incidents of gunfire on school grounds in 2021. It's a horrifying and shameful number and one that Nicole Hockley is working desperately to lower. To Hockley, it's personal. Her son Dylan was one of 20 first graders murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012, along with six educators. That incident rocked the nation and eventually propelled Hockley to the national stage where she has been a strong and unrelenting advocate for creating safer communities. Sandy Hook Promise, the organization she co-founded one month after the tragedy, aims to help students, teachers, and parents recognize the signs of social isolation and anger in students before violence erupts. To date, nearly 15 million people nationwide have participated in SHP's Know the Signs programs, and its anonymous reporting system that exclusively serves schools has, log has logged over 111,000 tips on everything from bullying, sexual abuse, potential suicides, and school shootings. 
These programs are proven to have averted multiple school shooting plots, teen suicides, and countless other acts of violence. Hockley's message skirts the political divide over gun control, focusing instead on helping young people get the help they need. I want, to help, I want people to know that the gun violence is not inevitable. It is preventable, says Hockley. With a background in marketing and communications, Hockley is very effective spokes, spokesperson and CEO for SHP. One of the public service announcements she helped create, Back to School Essentials, won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Commercial in 2019, and another one, Evan, has generated two billion impressions and won 10 coveted Cannes Lions Awards. She was recognized in 2016 by People Magazine as one of the 25 women changing the world. Hakli is also on the board of the Dylan's Wings of Change, a nonprofit founded by her ex-husband, Ian. The organization focuses on developing and empowering empathic and courageous youth. For her remarkable ability to reach through her grief and dedicate her life to addressing a moral imperative, and for doing so with grace, passion, and commitment, the President and the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University hereby proclaim Nicole Hockley, Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. The second citation for Commissioner Robert D. Manfred Jr. will be read by the Reverend Gerald R. Blaschek, Society of Jesus, Special Assistant to the President and Alumni Chaplain. Father Blaschek. The President and Trustees of Fairfield University to all shall view these presents, greetings, and the peace in the, the peace in the Lord. Many boys dream of a career in baseball. For Robert D. Manfred, entry into the field was a stroke of luck. I was practicing labor and employment law, and Major League Baseball, MLB, came in as a client, Rob says simply. He was assigned to the case and the rest is major league history. That stroke of luck was the beginning of a successful two-decade relationship. Manfred began serving as executive vice president and chief operating officer of the organization before being elected the 10th commissioner of Major League Baseball in 2014, following the retirement of the legendary Bud Saley. Throughout the years, Commissioner Manfred has been a steady, just, guiding force in labor relations, forging new and creative contacts with players without work stoppages that so often plague negotiations. Recognizing that the best way to increase baseball's fan base is to encourage youth participation in the sport, he forged a relationship with Boys and Girls Clubs of America to further the goal that kids have a place to play, especially those in underserved areas. These days, baseball and softball combined boast more than 25 million participants, making it the team sport with the most participation in the United States. Under Manfred's enlightened leadership, the MLB has made major strides into the international markets, playing exhibition games in Cuba and regular, se and regular season games in Mexico and Puerto Rico. The league took the game to Europe for the first time last year and currently runs schools and programs in China and India. 
for his commitment to making the sport of baseball more accessible to young people, for his strong leadership and for his exemplary, ex for, and for his exemplary service in listening to and in respecting the opinion of others, the President and Board of Trustees of Fairfield University thereby proclaim Robert D. Manfred, Jr., Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce Commissioner Robert D. Manfred, Jr. as our 2022 commencement speaker. Commissioner Manfred. President Nemec, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty members, families, friends, and most important, members of the Fairfield University class of 2022, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to be invited to share this great day with you. Let me begin with a bit of a confession. Commencement addresses are challenging. On the one hand, commencement is a cause for celebration. It's a time to reflect back on a great accomplishment and to take pride in the hard work associated with that accomplishment. On the other hand, commencement is also a time to look forward. It is a time to contemplate the opportunities that lie ahead, to begin to plan how to make the very most of those opportunities and unfortunately, to experience an understandable sense of uncertainty. In my view, a good commencement address should focus both on the celebration and the look to the future, even if the latter can create a bit of anxiety. Today, let's begin with the celebration. I want to offer my heartiest congratulations to each and every member of the Fairfield University Class of 2022. It is always a great accomplishment to complete the rigorous course of study at a great institution of higher learning like Fairfield University. But this group deserves special recognition because your college experience was complicated by a pandemic that persisted more than two years. The pandemic affected us all, but in many ways, students and young people face the greatest challenges. I commend all of you for your perseverance. <laughs> Few accomplishments in life are solo or solitary activities. It's the nature of human activity that we perform best with the support and encouragement of others. And I'm certain each and every graduate can remember times when you experience difficulties and you turn to someone deeply invested in your success to help you through that rough patch. I hope the graduates will join me in giving a big hand to the parents, family members, significant others, and friends who are here today who supported you financially, emotionally, and otherwise during your college journey. Before I turn to the future, I'm going to ask you to indulge me with one personal comment. I would not be where I am today, either as the commencement speaker at Fairfield or, frankly, as the commissioner of baseball, were it not for the a member of the administration here at Fairfield, Father Jerry Belaschek. You see, I began my college experience at another great institu a Jesuit institution Lemoyne College in Syracuse. <laughs> when I returned to Lemoyne for my sophomore year, I learned that the room next door was assigned to a then Jesuit scholastic, Father Belaschek. Over the academic year, Jerry graciously put up with noise, nonsense, and rules violation from my roommate and me. But more important, he found a way to encourage me to mature, 
to focus more intently on my education and to strive, to steal a phrase, to be all that I could be. I'm grateful to Jerry for that and for a lifetime of friendship. There's also a lesson in my relationship with Jerry. Some of us, certainly me, do not like to be pushed by others. It's natural to resist when someone suggests that you can or should be doing more or better. If you can get past the natural temptation to resist and take the advice to heart, you may come to realize that the person encouraging you to do more is doing you a favor that will pay, pay tremendous dividends. For the graduates and their families, I genuinely hope that today is consumed with celebration. You completed the task at hand and you deserve to enjoy it. I am sure, however, that some of you are already thinking about what's next. And once today is done, the group focused on the future will grow, grow quickly. With this reality in mind, I would like to offer you some thoughts on three topics, work, family, and faith. I've always been interested in the concept of work and people's satisfaction with their careers. Most people spend a major portion of their adult lives working. Moreover, there's a substantial school of thought that work plays a major role in a person's view of him or herself. And of course, like nearly everything in our lives, the pandemic has had a major effect on how we work and how we think about work. Work can be enjoyable and fulfilling if you can find a career about which you are passionate. Most jobs require genuine effort, most jobs require sacrifice, and most jobs, at least occasionally, produce stress and frustration. The effort, the sacrifice, the stress and frustration are much easier if your work involves something about which you are passionate. Even more important, if you are passionate about your work, the satisfaction you derive from your work will be increased exponentially. Passion, it's a great word, but how does one find passion for a job or career? In my experience, you can find it in at least two different ways. Some people are passionate about the substance or skill in a particular kind of work. It's easy, for example, to imagine an author or a journalist be, being passionate about the writing process or a doctor to be passionate about the knowledge and skills that allows him or her to save lives. There's another way to find passion, however. For me, I found passion in the context of my profession. I never minded being a lawyer, but I only came to feel passion for being a lawyer in the context of what I believe to be the greatest sport in the world. That context of Major League Baseball was exciting for me and increased the satisfaction that I felt every single day at work. Another important part of your work life will be your professional reputation. If your reputation is good, it will open doors throughout your career. But if it is bad, it will limit your opportunities no matter how skilled or smart you are. Nothing is more important to your reputation than ethical behavior. Accomplishments achieved through unethical behavior are rarely satisfying even if the unethical behavior goes undiscovered. And once people begin to question your ethics, your reputation will never recover. The pandemic has made the idea of working from home so very popular. And I understand that working from home can improve the quality of life for many people. In metropolitan areas like New York, working from home allows people to avoid two or three hours a day that are spent commuting, and no one likes to waste time commuting. Working from home also creates scheduling flexibility that makes it easier to balance the com competing demands of family and work. Finally, some people in some types of jobs actually seem to be more productive when they work from home. But there's at least one downside to working from home 
that can undermine the effectiveness in the, of an organization and alter the upward trajectory of a career. I think you can explain the downside with what I regard to be a truism. It's hard to achieve real collegiality over Zoom. And I believe that collegiality is important to organizational effectiveness and to the ability of each individual employee to achieve his or her potential. Collegiality is a group effort. Leaders should make an effort to create an atmosphere of collegiality, but that effort will be successful only if the others in the workplace participate as well. Regardless of whether you work at home or in the office, you should make every effort to be inclusive and should encourage a free exchange of ideas at work. Try to interact positively with your coworkers, recognize their accomplishments, and be generous with praise for their efforts. Over time, you will find that collegiality produces better organizational outcomes and that your coworkers will become supporters and allies in your effort to move ahead professionally. Before I change topics, I would be remiss if I did not mention a concept with which I have struggled throughout my career, work-life balance. I have been in the workforce for nearly 40 years. I have been lucky. I have what I regard to be the best job in the world today. But even before I became commissioner, I had great jobs that allowed me to interact with very successful and interesting people, a federal judge, partners in a great law firm, and leaders in the sports industry. But there's more to life than work. No organization, no matter how employee friendly, will make you truly happy or fulfilled. The truth is, organizations are designed to achieve business objectives, not to address the needs of employees. You have to round out your life with hobbies, community activities, and family life if you truly want to be happy and fulfilled. And I truly believe that being well-rounded with non-work activities and interests will actually make you a better performer at work. My most important interest has always been family. Our country has changed much in the last decade or two. Some of the change has not been positive. Our society is more divided than at any point in recent history. Our discourse, public and private, lacks civility. But one positive thing that has happened is that most everyone accepts a broader definition of the concept of family. We understand the emotional and mental significance of not only traditional families, but all sorts of unions and combinations. The importance of family is simple and obvious, especially on a day like today. As I said earlier, college graduation is a milestone a real accomplishment. To me, that accomplishment would be hollow, less meaningful without family sharing the moment. Cherish your family relationships because those relationships make the good times more meaningful and the bad times less painful. I've talked so far about work and family. Work and family have at least one important thing in common. At certain points in your life, both work and family will present challenges. For me, the key to being able to confront or, or accept these challenges is faith. I'm sure many, if not most of you, have been raised in the Catholic tradition. But regardless of your particular religion, I believe it is important to believe in something larger than humanity. If you don't, the grind of everyday life will wear you down. Faith in something larger gives people the courage to confront challenges, the strength to overcome challenges, and the wisdom to accept what cannot be changed. I'm sure that many of you expected me to say something about baseball today, and I don't want to completely disappoint in that regard. So here goes. The most important baseball player that ever lived was Jackie Robinson. He may not have been the best player, but he certainly had the greatest and most lasting effect on American society. 75 years ago, Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in baseball and helped fuel a revolution in America. He began a process that has led to important change 
and a continuing debate over improving race relations. And in the course of it, he endured insults, hardship, and hatred with amazing dignity. Jackie Robinson once uttered words that I believe teach an important life lesson. Jackie said, a life is not important except in the impact that it has on other lives. In a society that focuses on immediate self-gratification, these words may seem anachronistic, but actually the words are timeless. They are reflective of a fundamental tenet of every major religion, namely the need to help others and treat them with respect. I must confess, I don't remember a single thing about the commencement address at my college graduation 42 years ago. I hope from this address, you will remember at least one thing. Jackie Robinson was right. You will all have busy and successful lives. Please find room and time in those busy lives to positively affect the lives of others, engage in your community and provide service to others, be generous with your wealth, and try to help those who are less fortunate. At the end of the day, what you do for others is what really matters. I thank you for your time and attention, and I wish each of you the best of luck. I would like to take this opportunity to issue a very warm welcome to the members of the class of 1972. These individuals represent the alumni celebrating the 50th year reunion of Fairfield University. We are honored by their presence and by their lifelong commitment to Fairfield. I would like to take a moment to ask the members of the class of 1972 to stand and be recognized by our graduating seniors, their guests, our faculty and administration. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. We shall now have the presentation of candidates for degrees in course by the deans of the four undergraduate schools in the conferring of these degrees by the president of the university. Dean Richard Greenwald will present the degree candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Dean Greenwald. Thank you. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences please stand? These students have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science degrees and are hereby presented to the president and trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science on all those presented by the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas? Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Andres Adamas, Ava Albanese, Brenna Alfano, Dalia Alrondozzi, Amber Alsayeg, Allison Ain A, Mark Anselmi, Catherine B. Angus. Mariella Barinello, Alessandra Barrick, 
Hi. Julia Beckerich. Yeah. Jacqueline Benson. Yeah. Michael Berdasiak. Sarah Beverly. <laughs> Catherine Bigelow. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Boggio. John Brennan, Giolani Buglione, Olivia Burke, Sharon Bustamante, Marcelo, Matthew Camus, Christiana Cardona, Christina Cardona, Connor Scheimel. James Clemente, Olivia Coleman, Joseph Contefiero, James Corsaniti, Rashid Creary, Ashley, Ashley Crowley, Miguel Quihiso. Corrine Kud, Carolyn Daigle, Nicole Dana, Brendan Deckoff, Noah DeFeo, David Dorset. Jackson Dropic. Magdalena Dukowska, Serena Eldridge, Christoph Escobar, Kenneth Fiella, Elizabeth Fanzili, Carrie Fell, Tracy Ferguson, Kaylin Fiore. Connor Finnan, yeah. Hannah Flanagan, yeah. Lauren Fleckenstein, yeah. Sophia Fleonis, yeah. Janella Flores, yeah. Ruby Francis, yeah. Jillian Ferdet, yeah. Chelsea Gabrielle. Melissa Gagliardi, Lauren Gassick, Julia Grieri, Sarah Gerard, Madeline Gibson, Isabella Gearling, Demetrius Gordon. Connor Greeley, Vincent Gritzik, Greer Geyer, Carolyn Hadfield, Delani Hall, Taylor Heffron, Colin Hurinan. Ryan Hurahan, Catherine Howley, Devin Johnson, Sloan Johnson, Shania Jones, Carolyn Gurnick, Julia Kalen, Grace Kovowicz. Erica Kelly, Catherine K 
Kircher. William Kirshner. Courtney Kobus. Natalia Kotovska. Hannah Kazdeba. Kayla Krasnow. Emma Krauski. Molly Lamendola. Julia Lanzan Otu. Connor Lemieux. Beatrice Lennon. Sarah Lerner. James Lessing. Olivia Levin. Emma Losier. Carolyn Lynch. Emily Lyons. Thank you. Luis Magana. Christian Menino. Kirill Marshall. Bridget Mayer. Carolyn Mayer. Sheila McComb. Maura McFalls. Victoria McLean. Bridget McGuire. John McNeil. Sean McQuaid. Leonard Milano. Danielle Monero. Maureen Morris. Cameron Morrow. Diana Muteba. Chief Gal Hulandi. Chase O'Brien. Christopher O'Hara. Olivia Opolinski. Annie O'Rourke. Madison Ortiz. Danielle Polawasta. Emma Papas. Kevin Parsons. Tamara Price. Ashley Fawn. Claire Plunkett. Alyssa Prozo, Rebecca Quigley, Sam Rafali, Alexis Raviol, Fiona Riley, Matthew Rich, Elizabeth Riker, Brandon Robles, Cassidy Rowcroft. Jillian Ryan, Leah Salisbury, Griffin Scannell, Christopher Schiavello, Sarah Sexton, Crystal Shaw, Lindy Sinclair, Julia Slattery, Peter Sloan, Sania Smith, Alexa Smoko, Danielle Sungroff, Mafu Sumar, Faith Pazfaziano, Jack Stanton, Ian Stevenson, Zachary Stevens. Kayla Sullivan, Lee Swick, Timothy Taylor Jr., Carolyn Timmeron, Margaret Tolkash, Caitlin Tracy, Eula Valdez, Brianna Vandermark, 
Colleen Van, Kelly Velacruz, Alexander Volcano, Julia Warman, Jack Weiss, Julie Zindman, Matthew Zwolinski, Kareem Alvaranga, Timothy Amarante, Catherine Baki, Kayla Bay, Alexa Beer, Rebecca Belmonte, Caitlin Bloss, Julia Bradley, Grace Brady, Julia Brown, Mary Brusheye, Camille Bucci, Amanda Bull, Rebecca Albuanopane, Samantha Burns, Mary Cassidy, Charles Sarami Gorino, Haley Chang, Sabrina Anicho, Caitlin Conwell, Jenna Couture, Jessica Contrera, Megan Dana, Karina de Blasi, Daniela de Blasi, Brett Dubover, Allison Delaney, Grace de Bilio, Gabriela DeJoya, Tomas DeLelo, Abigail Dunning, Kathleen Duong, Madeline Dutilli, Samantha Dason, Bridget Ergen, Regan Fallow, Julio Fazinga, Leila Fernandez, Alexandra Flipkowski, Vincent Garioma, Oluwafemi by Isho Morayo, Juliana Gentile, John Goodwin. Jordan Hamilton, Sean Harney, Nicole Harris, Brianna Hay, Ava Hornbeck, Mary Kathleen Hughes, Imka Guzman, Marcella Hunt, Lindsay Jameson, Devayani Joshi, Maya Kapoor, Carolyn Kavanau, Amelia Kaedic, Hannah Klausner, Mohammed Koradasi, Grace Keener, Arbor Kula, Matthew Laganza. Amelia Lenanen, Kelsey Larkin, Kylie Lespina, Michael Latina, Sydney Lurs, Hi. Taylor Lewis, Matthew Little, Grace McCallum. Kelsey McFagin, Carolyn Magyar, Jenna McNero, Carolyn Martin, David Marrero, Rachel Martin, Logan Masia, Alexis Mason, Kellyanne McAllis. 
Anna McGaffigan, Emma McGowan, Julia Mecca, Maeve Miser, Giuliani McSell, Emma Merkovich, Dominica Mesh, Patrick Mitchell, Madeline Moad, Juliana Milhern, Christian Navarro, Amanda Nowak, Bridget O'Brien, Lauren Olzak, Aaron O'Leary, Quan Oliver, Quan Oliver, Ann Panos, Tushi Patel, Megan Patterson, Ryan Patterson, Bailey Plu, Madison Povemba, Martha Marie Quiblat. Sophia Renan, Michelle Randall, Sydney Radon, Nicholas Richardson, Andrew Rogers, Gabrielle Francisco Rodriguez, Isabel Romero, Sarah Rufo, Anea Salulo, Olivia Salim, Danielle Scarfone, Sienna Sento, Colin Shea, Brendan Sheehan, Sarah Shellhorse, Maggie Silbo, Christina Skerritt, Nicholas Slachta, John Stalzer, Cooper Stearns, Isabella Sweeney, Emma Taglick, Julia T Talamini, Emma Taigwe, Sophia Tirabasi, Annie Tron, Alan Vo, Kelsey Vu, Marielle Wesley, Aaron Wind, Maria Jeremy, Thomas Zagajewski, Hannah Zanin, Annalise Zara. Dean Meredith Kayser will present the degree candidates from the Marion Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Dean Kayser. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees in Nursing and Public Health and the Bachelor of Social Work from the Marion Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies please stand. These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, in Public Health, and the Bachelor of Social Work degrees, and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Nursing in Public Health and Bachelor of Social Work on all those presented by the Dean of the Merriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on their hoods and come forward to receive your diplomas. Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented.
Hannah Adams. <laughs> Sophia Aguiar. <laughs> Amy Ackerley. <laughs> Olivia Alessandro. <laughs> Caroline Antel. <laughs> Lauren Barrett. Dory Bartouche, <laughs> Kayla Beckman, <laughs> Caroline Bellissimo, <laughs> Julia Beneviat, <laughs> Catherine Bernhardt, <laughs> Caitlin Bombard, <laughs> Jennifer Bonifacio, <laughs> Gabriella Borhe. Mackenzie Boyle, <laughs> Michaela Annette Bravo, <laughs> Margaret Breitenbach, <laughs> Erica Breitfeller, <laughs> Henry Brinkert, <laughs> Emma Bradigan, <laughs> Talia Brown. Emma Brutton, Claire Calabaro, Calabro, Caitlin Campbell, Lauren Carroll, Rosa Casal, Sarah Cassidy, Gianna Catalano, Elizabeth Truly, Claire Clark. Elizabeth Clark, Genevieve Connolly, Caroline Costa, Grace Coulard, Abigail Crofts, Mackenzie Cusack, Audra Danchowski, Carly Dalton. Maeve De Janeiro, Gabriella DeSantis, Lauren Dirks, Danielle Doliva, Natalie D'Onofrio, Moira Dockerty, Caitlin Dreyer, Riley Eaton. Priscilla Estevez, Margaret Ethier, Grace Fallon, Kaylee Fantoli, Hope Femia, Megan Ferguson, Hannah Philippe, Rachel Florence, Callie Francis, Jane Frawley, Kelly Gaffney, Gwyneth Gaynor, Ryan Gillis, Emily Greer, Daphne Gutch, Claire Haggerty, Colette Hanrahan, Brooke Hernan, Sinkitha Holly, Felicia Horn, Kaylin Jagel, Isabel Johnson, Jean Johnson, Michaela Johnson, Robin Dutris, Catherine Kelly, Maxine Callum, Grace Kelly, <laughs> Madeline Kenny, Samantha Clee, <laughs> Alyssa Korn, Allison Cricosa, <laughs> Elizabeth LaBelle, <laughs> Ashley Lampros, <laughs> Madison Landers, <laughs> Carolyn Lanziolta, Allison Lawless, Alexa Lehan, 
Haley Liddy, yeah. Catherine Lundquist, yeah. Jillian Lyons, yeah. Kaylee McDonald, yeah. Colette McCooch, yeah. Catherine McGinnis, yeah. Samantha Mancini, yeah. Sophia Market, yeah. Anna McDonough, Madison McDowell, Catherine McDougall, Kate McHenry, Elizabeth McLean, Allie McPherson, Madison McSherry, Mia Maleo, Michael Mello, Samantha Mary, Sarah Middlebrook, Shannon Middleton, Reese Miller, Sierra Morowitz, Abigail Morell, Bridget Morrissey, Annabelle Murphy, Caitlin Murphy, Caroline Murray, Jasmine Nagai, Megan Nicholas, Nichols, Natalie Nicholas, Kelly Norman, Samantha Orris, Naira Nastayan, Ostayan, Megan Palucha, Karishma Parke. Cynthia Patsos, Aaron Patton, Rebecca Patty, Jillian Peruski, Peruski, sorry, we'll work on that later. Gabrielle Persicno, Sophia Peterson, Aiden Phillips, Kara Peretti, Sophia Prino, Margaret Rasikot, Julia Renz, Hannah Ringo, Lila Ritter, Olivia Robichaud, Catherine Roach, Shailen Rodrigo, Carrie Root, Emily Schillinger, Audrey Sedinsky, Victoria Silverian, Emma Sidoti, Molly Silvestri, Anthony Silverstrom, Diana Smith, Lauren Smith, Lindsay Spencer, Alexander Stanley, Rihanna Stapleton, Isabel Stanieri, Emily Stinton, Riley Sullivan, Dejalee Tam, Alyssa Thomas, Michelle Tolachko, Amanda Toole, Mia Traficante, Michael Urbano, Amanda Wong, Caitlin Wood, Madison Woodruff, JC Zoing. Joelle Zulo, Bridget Belger, Alexandra Fierro, Kayla Lapointe, Catherine Larigy, Emily Marshall, Ibelkis Tejada Matos, and Maria Tell. 
congratulations to all. Dean Zon Lee will present the degree candidates from the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. Dean Lee. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree from the Dolan School of Business please stand. This man and woman have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Science degree are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree of Bachelor of Science on all those presented by the Dean of the Charles F. Dolan School of Business. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on your hood and come forward to receive your diplomas. Please withhold your applause until all graduates has been presented. Michael Abdallah, Sylvia Acosta, Christopher Adams, John Adeo, Abby Aldieri, David Allen, Lauren Aurimi, Peter Bagley, Gino Baldelli, Margaret Barbiero. Daniel Barbieri. Brian Barrett. Daniel Basar. Amka Batburen. Emmeline Bellen Inwa. Jack Benavides. Aidan Bennett, Elizabeth Benson, Paige Bernhardt, Matt Babakwa, Christopher Barazu Vietz, Joshua Blank, Tyler Blos, Jonathan Bocumaso. Victoria Bodhi, Kyle Borda, Ryan Borsi, Michael Bottega, Sarah Bowden, Brian Brennan, Keenan Brin, Abigail Broadhurst, Madeline Brock. Jack Borsnian, Noel Brown, Zeba Bung, Brandon Caballero, Jillian Cafaso, Kimberly Cagnasola, John Keoni, Sean Kaluhan, Brendan Callow. Samantha Kumacho, Frank Kamaura, Michael Campunil, Julian Cabozello, Nathan Carlton, Amanda Carroll, Jasmine Carter, Helen Casey. Jillian Casey, Teresa Casola, 
Daniel Kutal. James Carapano. Chloe Cava. John Sarasulo. Matthew Sirpa. Susan Sarelli. Rachel Chen. Harrison Chikorikas. Jack Christensen. Patricia Chemnevesk. Robel Klinskalis. Grace Colalio. Mary Colombi. Dean Con Conhuista. Nora Connery. Ryan Connor. John Connors, Olivia Conquest, Marissa Consiglio, Paulina Contreras, Julia Cogne, Roisin Kuganpluck, Carrie Ann Cooper, Lily Cooper, Catherine Costello, Daniel Costello, Hanley Quarter, Lawrence Cortin, Olivia Covello, Brendan Coyle, Sarah Krista, Jared Crosby, Matthew Crosby, Kristen Cruz. Brian Cubello, John Curry, Samantha D'Alessandro, Cameron Daly, Marissa Darmiento, Kelsey Dawson, Benjamin Dean, Vance DeGasperis, Lillian DeLeo, Jessica DeMarcy, Jack Dennis, Madeline Dent, Cameron Dara, Mary Kate Deriso, Guilherme de Sosa, Isabel Dib, Jenna DeMartino, Jared DiPietro. Hadea Juisberg, Aaron Dobbs, Danielle Dodge, Nicholas Dodge, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin Donahoe, <laughs> okay, could have tried, Carolyn Donovan. John Donovan, Olivia Duty, Chad Dorley, Madison Dow, Patrick Drake, Brendan Dreyer, Connor Driscoll, John Dumke, Alexa Dyer, Matthew Isha. Hannah Eckert, Daniel Egan, Arthur Elmolino, Hugo Espuela Hurtado, Jonathan Fay, Shannon Feely, Lily Fenton, Zachary Fiegel, Catherine Finnegan, John Fiorino, Lauren Fish, Carol Fishbach, Christar Fitzgerald, Madeline Figorti, James Folks, Trevor Ford, Richard 
Fortunato. Carlin Fournier. Samantha Fucci. Michael Gagliardi. Alexander Galasinayo. Ellie Galligan. Christopher Ganio. Haley Gardner. Colin Garvin. Brendan Gately. Kaylee Gatto. Matthew Gerbo. Bob Gilbert. Jacob Gillily. Alexandria Giorno. Corey Gerard. Dante Gizzo. Anthony Jurai. Michael Getz. Santiago Gonzalez Becerra. Kay Gore. Zachary Gonares. Julia Graham. Michael Green. Shannon Green. Elizabeth Ger Griff Instead, sorry. Emma Greco. Kevin Griffin. Caitlin Grindle. Maradi Hagen. Efrosini Hagian. Michael Handel. Allison Hans. Gabriella Hansen. Kyle Harrigan. Catherine Harrington. Michaela Harrington. Sarah Hartnett. William Haw. Michael Hayes. Owen Hyam. Grace Heller. Sean Henry. Ulyssa Herbold. Andrea Hernan Gomez. Samuel Hines. Andrew Liboki. Caitlin Huffman. Michael Holloway. Margaret Horn. Owen Horn. James Howard. <laughs> Lindsay Howland. Joseph Anelli. Malin Iglesias. Christi Christina Ayuso. Nicholas Jansen. Colleen Jefferson. Justin John. Katherine Johnson, Grace Jordan, Elizabeth Cabellian, Thomas Kalinowski, Kenneth Kapiki, mm -hmm. Alex Kasabian, Riley Keen, Connor Keenan, Brian Kelly. Connor Kelly, Jack Kelly, Owen Kelly, Faith Kenny, William Killeen, James Chupotnik, Katie Knight, Eric Kortik, Nikki Koval, Nicholas Krushinsky, Catherine Kudlatsik, Maggie Lacobel, Kira Lang, Morgan Langdon, Ariana Lavelle, Nicole Lavesta, Nicholas Lavergati, Stephen Lawless, Anne Lee. Ice Hu Lee. Jack Lee. 
Maxwell Lenhart, Joseph Lienen, Timothy Leong, Ava Lenhart, Andrew Levin, Omar Lenaris, Ryan Lowe, Matthew Longfield, Lou Lopez Senescal, Nico Lubrano, Jonathan Lucire, Alexander Lytel, Alex McKay, Kevin McGuire, Pedro Mayu, Kyle Majewitz, Connor Malady, Augusto Malanrucolo, Caroline Mengen, James Maravales, Daniel Marketty, Jenny Ann Marino, Luke Marino, Sinead Mirren, Carolyn Maroney, Amanda Marsh, Sophie Martino, Jacob Mantala, Cooper Mazurchek, JT McCarthy, John McCluskey, Casey McCombs, Christopher McCormick, Lauren McCrink, Aaron McGonigal, Julie McGovern, Brett McGrath, Patrick McHale, Caitlin McKierney, Thomas McKenna, Aiden McMahon, Michael McNamee, Catherine McSorley, Adriana Mercaldo, Esme Miano, Sophia Mikolas, Bailey McCool, Cameron Miles, Lauren Myoline, Edward Mitchell, Colleen Mocker, Joseph Malloy, Christopher Montefiore, Carolina Moraga, Michael Morgan III, Matthew Morris, Selma McCorlick, Taig Mueller, Grace Mullane, Tristan Malivi, Kyle Murphy, Lauren Naspi, Peter Neary, Grace Nelson, Demi Nestopoulos, Peter Newman, Iris Neza, Tyler Nolan, Jake Noviello, Kaylin O'Banner, Carolyn O'Brien, Shannon O'Connell, Brett O'Dinich, Bridget O'Leary, Madeline Oliver, Edward Ordway Jr., Michael Pagliaro, Joseph Pagliarulo, Nina Panto, Nicholas Pantori, Dominic Papelardo, 
Michael Pappas. Jan Perizek. Emily Patton. Robert Pecora. Joseph Panaccio. Andrea Pepe. Brianna Perez. Kendra Perez. Brooke Perna. Brian Perotti. Lucy Leone Perisel. Sean Fair. Joseph Pisano. Nicholas Pisano. Matthew Pollard. Lindsay Policino. Aaron Post. Nicole Potel. John Prigano. Nicholas Kroll. I lost mine. It's Vincent Pugliano. Vincent Pugliano. Puzon. Andrew Puzon. Puzo. Jonathan Puzo. <laughs> Molly Quayle. Sean Quinn. <laughs> Sean Quinn. <laughs> Vanessa Quinn. Shane Raybax. Martin Racanelli. Joseph Raimonde. Rita. Brian Rita. Courtney Rychek. Ann Riley. Oceana Riccio. Alexis Rich. Yolanda Richter. Stasia Rispoli, Charles Ritter III, Michael Rizzi, Kevin Roberts, Madison Robichaud, Dominic Robodeau, Molly Roche, Caitlin Rousseau, Adam Russell, Jared Russo, Matthew Russo, Paul Russo, Douglas Rutnick, Mary, uh, Mary Teresa Ryan, Patrick Ryan, Sean Ryan, Timothy Saka, Nizar Sakli, Joseph Salameno, Erica Salisbury, Isabella Saljanin, Nick Salvatore, Alexa Nicole Sanducci, okay. John, John Sartor. Matthew Savoya. Gabrielle Saxon. Sarah Selsa. William Scherer. Oliver Schroeder. Emma Schumacher. Thomas Schwartz. Jack Schwerner. Laura Seeger, Casey Zeiferheld, Tyler Senor, Olivia Sentowski, Madeline Seven, Deborah Severani, Laura Shadlock, Connor Shanahan, Daniel Shea, Jordan Shook. Connor Simmons, Gene Simmons, Sean Skinner, William Skinner, Kaylee Schneider, 
Jack Susi. Ian Spendley. Nicolette Stallone. Lucas Stanton. Jaden Stefanski. Isabel Stevenson. Catherine Stewart. Thomas Stickley. Charles Sumner. William Sutman. Nicole Spingen. Michael Tanajewski. Amy Taishera. Edward Tomosidovich. Matthew Tornas. Peter Tutulis. Kwong Kin Luan Tran. Allison Tremblay. Matthew Tremagli. Frank Trobiano Jr. Stephanie Singaris. James Tyre. Fiona Tinyon. Sean Ulsifer. Mark Vaughn Jr. Lindsay Venezia. Marissa Beans. Alex Villabala. Hui Vo. Emma Wagner. Elizabeth Walheim. Jack Walker. Sarah Walker. Matthew Waters. Griffin Watson. Liam Weaver, <laughs> courtesy of Bridget Whelan. <laughs> Thomas Willemsey. Bryce Williams. Hannah Williams. Carly Williams. Heidi Willens. Samuel Willis. Madison Wilmot, Michael Wishart, Jake Nukowski, Tyler Wukta, Carly Yanota, Luca Zedgidniza, <laughs> Abigail Zamunau. All right, Diego Sazati Ikaza. Congratulations to all. <laughs> Dean Andres Carano will present the degree candidates for the School of Engineering. Dean Carano. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science degrees from the School of Engineering please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science degrees, and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science on those presented by the Dean of the School of Engineering. Congratulations. Will the degree recipients put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas? Reyes Huerta. Matthew Pagasek. Umi Rahman. Ali Al Rawanduzi. 
Ugochuku Anigame. Shamrock Barrera. Ryan. Ryan Butan. Lam Bui. John Kane. Jacob Cassidy. Chizumuzo Chibuko. Andrea Cologne. Martin Corrado II. Timothy Cusack McPartland. Jack Devlin. John Dowling. Evan Thayer. John Fee. Brian Feeney. Sean Feeney. Enrique Garaldi Lopez. Peter Gorey. Beatriz uh, Guerrera Sicarias. David Hanrahan. Rakibul Hey Hawk. Aaron Harvey. Joshua Harris. Min Huang. Wachuku Wachuku Ebekwe. Rachel Jacobson. Ricky Jagru. Kostiantin Caldaras. Carolyn Kent. Harshal Katri. Tae Young Kim. Owen Kine. Christopher Lafke. Kai Duyen Lei. Viet Luton Lee. Charles Lewis. David London. Jenna Madigan. Alexander Meyer. Ina March Raz <laughs> Raza Kama Nansoa. Angelica McAfee. Kevin McDonald. John Minogue. Aitana Mushayev. Carolyn Nielsen. Avery Nocella. Michael O'Leary. Kristen O'Leisure. Justin Ormiston. Sean Ormiston. Ari Palumbis. Carlos Ponce. Stephanie Prado. Matthew Primatello. Gabriel Romero. Clarissa Ronoto. Rotonto. Samuel Santos. Chloe Stokinger. Vincent Tiernan. Tobina Ugu. Jesse Bayu. Suchin Verma. Joseph Viale. Arushi Vijay. Congratulations to all.
Class of 2022, you're almost there. At this point in the ceremony, I would like to ask all of our new graduates to please rise and acknowledge with your applause your appreciation for the faculty, your teachers, your advisors, your mentors who helped you to see your gifts and talents and to bring it forward for the rest of us. Please take your seats. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark R. Nemec, President of Fairfield University, to offer remarks. Dr. Nemec. Thank you. To the Fairfield University Class of 2022, allow me to offer my congratulations and gratitude for you making the time, enduring through this heat, and celebrating our largest graduating class ever. Again, congratulations. As we come towards the end of this commencement, you might have a natural tendency to be looking backwards with reminiscence, while also looking forward to the promise of your lives post-graduation. However, our Ignatian tradition calls us to a third way to be in the moment, to find God in all things, and to celebrate your leadership. Chris Lowney, a former Jesuit seminarian and then J.P. Morgan Managing Director, who is now a writer and leadership consultant, as well as a 2019 Fairfield University Honorary Degree recipient, captures this sentiment most passionately when he writes, quote, everyone is a leader and everyone is leading all the time, sometimes in immediate, dramatic, and obvious ways, more often in subtle, hard-to-measure ways, but leading nonetheless. The measure of a leader's personal greatness is less what they found at journey's end and more the depth of human character that carried them along the way. Their imagination, will, perseverance, courage, resourcefulness, and willingness to bear the risk of failure. I would politely and humbly suggest your efforts, your dedication, and your completion of your studies all stand as a testament to this very notion. Having made the most of this current journey, what then of the future? In this regard, allow me to offer a few thoughts, perennial reminders to help as you embrace the duality of this time, as you continue to meet the world as children of God and individuals of purpose in pursuit of productive citizenship and societal stewardship. First, I would remind you, as I do at almost every academic celebration we hold at Fairfield, never forget the world needs what you do. Fairfield is blessed to have an approach, a commitment to value-based, student-centric, outcomes-focused education, which calls us to be the model for others, to be a model of modern excellence, to be a model of the modern Jesuit Catholic University. Second, never stop asking questions. Never lose sight of the power of inquiry. As Zora Neale Hurston stated most elegantly, but most succinctly, research is formalized curiosity. It is poking and prying with purpose. Your learning here has provided you with the knowledge and skills to craft detailed answers, but just as importantly, it has provided you with the capacity and frameworks to ask ever more provocative questions. In asking these questions, I would stress we do so as broadly and as openly as possible, not presuming any one theory or approach. Our work is not to train. It is to educate individuals to go set the world afire. For we, as a Jesuit Catholic institution, are committed to universal truth and justice. We, as a Jesuit Catholic university, most humbly acknowledge no one individual or collective own this truth or nor the path. And thus, we commit above all else through faith, 
to the fullness of inquiry and freedom of discourse, all in fruition of companionship. Be well, God bless, and I'm very honored to say you are now and forever stags. Congratulations. Please rise. The Reverend Keith Maxowitz, Society of Jesus, Director of Campus Ministry and the University Chaplain, will pronounce the benediction. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, our source of light and hope, we ask that your almighty hand be upon these graduates as we send them onward. With their classes and assignments now complete, may they strive toward excellence in all that they do. With the applause of today quieted, may they celebrate and lift up those around them. With our speeches concluded, may their voices rise up to pro proclaim justice and peace. And with degrees and credentials in hand, may their achievements grow and enrich their communities both near and far. As Jesuit educated men and women, may they discover holiness in the midst of life's blessings as well as life's challenges. And as they go forth from this place, may they conduct their life's work with exceptional skill and integrity, inspired to go forth and set the world on fire from this day forward. And we ask this in your holy name, amen. amen. Continue standing and be prepared for the singing of the Fairfield University alma mater by the members of the University Glee Club under the direction of Dr. Carol Ann Maxwell, conductor, accompanied by Beth Palmer and the Brass Salad Quintet. To all those physically present on the field with us, as well as those who are with us through the live stream, a special thanks to each and every one of you for your ongoing grace, humility, kindness, and poise. 
where our guests please remain in their seats until those on the stage and the graduates have recessed. The 72nd commencement exercises of Fairfield University are now officially concluded.
Thank you.